And Channing did a very good job rocking a lace front wig. I was very impressed. Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How good. are you? Okay. I'm great now that I'm talking to you guys. Uh, this was such a fun movie. My gosh, I didn't expect it to be so much fun. Was it just as fun shooting it? Yes. Absolutely. Even better. <laughs> and I wanted to know um, for uh, Patty and Devine, how long did you have to hold in your laughter when you first see Sandra Bullock in a glitter onesie and then Channing Tatum uh, as a Fabio wannabe? Well, Sandy was. She was hot. Yeah, that was no She's laughing man. It's like she looked horny. amazing more than anything. Mm. And I'll just say it, horny. I'm that thing looks so uncomfortable. I think <laughs> she has stories. She has her her trauma mm -hmm. that she'll she probably mm -hmm. can share more about. And Channing did a very good job rocking a lace front wig. I was very impressed by that. He felt very he could do it. Yeah, he could wear his hair like that. Mm -hmm. It looked good. He should consider <laughs> growing it out. Yeah. Was he flipping it around when he was a lot obsessively? Apart? Yeah. An embarrassing amount. Was it sexy or turn off? Mm. <laughs> it was like in this uncanny valley, nebulous space, yes. liminal space where it was both. It was both. It's like I'm humiliated <laughs> for him, and then, but I also, you know, ooh, I can't say it. And then Oscar, of course, you have the goat. So I do. The goat. He's right there, <laughs> right on your shoulder. He's back there somewhere. <laughs> and the goat was very professional. I knew, she, I knew she would be, yeah. She was a very cool goat. Was it showing off or anything like Channing? No, it was, it, she would only, she cried when she couldn't see her owner. The, oh. If he went out of her eyes, eyesight, then she'd go, <laughs> like that. Um, uh, my second wife made a similar. But the, <laughs> and then when, he, when she would see him, then she'd be quiet. She was happy. So she was a good Aww. goat, yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. And can we talk about Sandra Bullock? She's still America's sweetheart. I forgot how much I love her in romantic comedy. Don't she you ever forget. Awesome, right? She's the best. She's the and best. And Oscar, this is your second time working with her um, from it, after the proposal. It is. She came, after, yes. she came looking for you to be in the movie. She did, and it was a wonderful day. Up on, off of Mulholland on Woldo, I just gave my address away, on Woodrow Wilson Drive. Uh, a young Oscar in the back practicing his Tai Chi uh, with his... What's the matter with you? We do that up in the hills. <laughs> I'm oh. crying because okay. it's really powerful. Practicing my Tai Chi and uh, the phone rings and uh, here comes my uh, assistant's assistant. You know, telephone call for you, sir. And I take the phone call and uh, words were exchanged and uh, lo and behold, She's like, we need you. And I'm like, stop crying. You know I'm going to say yes. And she's like, I'm never sure. I'm never sure. You've got me over a barrel, please. And I'm like, Sandy, you're, my, you're a friend. You're a friend. You've got me over a barrel? It's an old saying from uh, my when I was a younger man. <laughs> uh, how, can, how can she forget the last time you gyrated in her face in the proposal? I mean, oh, on, thank you. That kind of a, of a thing, right? That's you correct. Left an impression. Yes. And, and yes, left an impression. And then... Um, uh, and then uh, we said, of course, now, kidding aside, I said, yes, I love the, it was amazing. And here we are, and look at, and these two lovely ladies were there, and we had, it was a wonderful time. Mm -hmm.